Hey guys, MathMeister here. In my last video, I told you how to create a frequency table. Now we're going to use that frequency table to make a histogram. So for my data set, I have my frequency table right here, and I've gone ahead and I've drawn my axes. Along the bottom, I'm going to have my intervals for my values, and along the y-axis, I'm going to have the frequency. So now that I have my frequency table, making the histogram is actually going to be pretty easy. For each interval, I just want to draw a bar that is as high as the frequency for that given interval. So for my first one, I have the interval 1 to 3. Remember, that's any number that's between 1 and 3, but not including 3. That has a frequency of 1, so I will draw my bar up to a height of 1. Next, for my interval 3 to 5, I have a frequency of 4. So I'm going to go up to a height of 4 along my y-axis, and that'll be my interval from 3 to 5. 5 to 7 has an interval of, or a height of 2, because it has frequency 2. Oh, that one looks goofy. So we'll go up again, we'll redo that. I have a feeling this one's going to look goofy. I hope that turned out okay. 7 to 9 has a frequency of 1. That'll be okay. 9 to 11 has a frequency of 3. And 11 to 13 has a frequency of 1. Alright, so now I've been able to make my histogram. Using this histogram, I see that the data is ranging from approximately 1 to 13. It's probably not exactly that. In fact, I know it's not exactly that since I have the data set up here but that's just an approximation of the range.